What is going on, everybody? I'm here with Happy from Envy. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. How are you? I I'm good. Uh, I was hoping you'd say I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Great. Good stuff. So I've got some questions. Um, firstly, have, have you, are you having a good stay in London? Are you, are you enjoying the little Gfinity setup that we've got going on? Yeah, we really like, like, it's really or original, right, to yeah. be in the cinema. Yeah. And, yeah, I think it's good, like, really nothing to complain about. Nice. All right, so let's get into the, I'm going to use an English expression, nitty gritty. So the serious stuff, you know, the serious questions. So, leadership. Happy, you're known as someone who in-game makes very smart decisions, uh, is, is a player that really knows what they're doing. Um, I think you are kind of officially the in-game leader for your team? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. And uh, about leadership, it's like, I think... You have to be like really smart to be a leader. Like you need to make every call the right call, mm. and it's like a huge pressure sometimes. But I guess it's working out so far. Yeah. How how did you kind of get in cause into the in-game leader role? Because I know myself, I've played CS on and off, nowhere near to level you've, of you guys, um, since like 2004, since Source, um, and I've never wanted to be the in-game leader. I've always just wanted to sit back, have someone tell me what to do, and I've always found it. Um, interesting when players kind of take the leap to be the in-game leader. So how did it happen for you? I think I like more to tell everyone what to do instead <laughs> yeah. of getting tell yeah. what to do. And yeah, I think like the will to win and the will to win in your way was just too much for me to not just lead the team. So I didn't pass on it. So have, have you always been an in-game leader throughout your whole career? Or um, is it something that's happened more recently? Just uh, how did it all develop? Uh, in CS Source, I was like on and off a leader in game, and in CS Go, I was like almost full time in game leader. Mm. So yeah, pretty much like all the time. Wicked. All right. And so, with with uh, being a bit more specific with regards to you know coming up with strats and stuff like that over time, developing strategies and executions on maps uh, using your smokes, your flashes, where somebody's going to push, where you're going to tell shocks to go, what MBK is doing. How do you come up with all of that? What's the process for it all? Like I have a lot of ideas in game, and I just try to like develop it with uh, within the team, and uh, yeah, I just like testing new stuff and just. Outsmart your opponent is something really important to me. Mm. So uh, do you do a lot of it in-game you, you, when you're practicing offline, like say on your team server? Do you also maybe write some stuff down? Is there a mixture of both? Uh, actually, I never like write anything down, which can be a problem sometimes, but... He's just so intelligent, <laughs> in his head all the time, you know? Like, I like to keep it fresh, you yeah. know? Even if I forget it sometimes, but yeah, like, I like to like... Nice, all right, so... Uh, now, you are on Envy, right? Before you were on LDLC, you, you've been moving around with your, your teammates for a while now. What's it like being on Envy? Is it, is it a cool organization? Are there any changes? It's like a huge leap forward, to be honest. Like, it's like the most professional team I've ever been in, and they provide us anything we want. Nice. So, um, yeah, Hastro Mike, he's been looking after you. He's recently in France. Did you show him around the local area? Did you give him some nice um, gelato? That's Italian. I'm, I'm awful. Uh, so, so did you show him any of the local French delicacies and just, I don't know, did you have a good time? He's been with us with, since three weeks, I think. Okay. So, yeah, he's like really close to us now and we're just feeling great with him. Like, like a father. Yeah. Father Hastro. Look at him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the future of CS. You know, where is CS going? How big can we make this scene? Um, are you excited? Because obviously there's been a lot of growth this year. Uh, recent events been getting lots of viewers. Where's it all going? With Katowice uh, getting 1.1 million viewers, it was like really almost a surprise to me. Like I was expecting something big, but not like this. So, I mean, we never seen that. So I don't really know, like... I guess we have nothing to worry about. It's going to be really huge. Your teammate Shock said uh, potentially one day, uh, with the help of maybe Valve, you could see CS more on national TV. Because sometimes you get it in Sweden and stuff. Would you like to see that? Do you think that's potentially something that could happen in the next few years? CS on national TV? I don't think we need to mimic like real sports on every stage of the game. I, by the way, that's something that I believe myself. Very nice point. Please continue. And like, we just need to develop our thing and... Make it big, always make it big, but maybe without the help of TV or anything. Mm. So uh, talking about why do you think, because I have my own justification for it, but why do you think that we, we don't need to mimic um, 
real sports or more like f- football and uh, sport, uh, rugby, etc., and, and baseball and basketball. Why, why don't we need to mimic, mi- mimic them from your point of view? I think every player knows, like at least pro players knows it's already a sport, like the mentality, the training, the schedule, it, everything is really hard like a sport. So like I don't need to convince anyone it's already really hard to be a sport. So like it's just our own thing, you know, like just let it be. Yeah. No, I, I like it. I also like that there's a bit of a difference between things like football and um, where everything's a bit more rigid, you know, a bit more structured. Um, and in esports, things are a bit more free. If you, do you understand what I mean, kind of? Uh, yeah, like, I guess we have, like, less contracts, yeah. less money, obviously, than soccer, for example. But, like, I just like the way it is and the way it's going to be, so... Yeah, I can't wait to see, see how it all develops. Um, and so, final thing that I'd like to touch upon is just um, Envy going forward, uh, going into the next majors, Gfinity. How do you feel the team's coming together? Because, obviously, recently you had a bit of a... Um, maybe not as high a result as you'd hope. Where, where are things going from here? I think we've, like... We are a bit in a slum, but we are getting, like, real good, like... In practice, we were like really unstoppable, and we won like our ticket to uh, an event in Dremac, like near Dremac Bucharest. Like okay. we played against Nib, Virtus Pro, and we really like played well. And I think we are coming back really strong. And like, okay, we will maybe like we dropped a little, like top five in the world right now, but we are coming back. All right, so I lied. That wasn't the last question because I remember something that I really want to ask and I think the community is interested in, uh, the CS community, about, particularly about your play style. So, uh, obviously you're in-game leader, pretty intelligent player. Something that you always end up doing is getting into these weird positions where you end up popping out of smoke, dropping a two-piece or, or a three-piece, and you always end up n- not in the same lurk role as, as get right, but in a, you do kind of have this lurky sort of feel to your play style and you catch people off guard. Um, Talk us, a, talk us through a bit about it, maybe. How did it develop? And yeah, it's, it's an awesome play style. Uh, as I said, like I like all the aspect of like smart games, like braining your opponent. I don't know if it's the right word, but... No, no, braining your opponent makes perfect sense. And I guess maybe I have less skills than regular workers, but I guess I just just like it so much to, you know... Feel him right now, get right, <laughs> show them, zombie. Happy, happy's gonna take you out. Get right. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Already done. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, carry on, carry on. But uh, yeah, like I like doing new things and like pop out out of smokes. Maybe it's stupid for some people, but I know it's really good and really powerful. So like, I just like, as I said, testing new stuff. Definitely, because obviously at a pro level, everyone is very highly skilled. Everybody at the same way, at the same time, a lot of people think the same way. So you've got to smoke down. Most people think someone's not going to run through or throw a flash in it and then pop through. So, you know, maybe that does play into your advantage that you do something out of the box and it yields a good result. Yeah, it's really like, as you said, out of the box. Yeah. And I like the way of thinking like this and I just do it. Wicked. Happy. Thank you so much for your time. Any final words? you want to shout out your org or any friends, whatever? Uh, yeah, thanks to NVS, Monster, Astro, all of our sponsors. And uh, Mike, our manager and Next, our coach. Nice. All right, thank you so Thanks much. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Awesome uh, to interview such a talented player. Um, wish him the best luck in the competition and in the future. Follow him on Twitter, stuff like that. We will see you all next time. Peace.